okay now what makes rain possible so if you are going to say that it's uh, the water evaporates and forms clouds and that's how rain forms then my question is what makes evaporation possible have you ever wondered you all take uh, evaporation for granted right that water just evaporates but how is it possible see <coughs> the water molecules are all bound to each other by the hydrogen bonds that's why it's in liquid state it doesn't become a gas it is in liquid state so if all the water molecules are bound to each other by hydrogen bonds how come only a few molecules are evaporating so the answer to that question lies in the boltzmann distribution of uh, speeds of the water molecules see <coughs> suppose the uh, so this is the boltzmann distribution of uh, velocities okay so at any time a few of the water molecules will have very large velocities higher than the average velocity okay so it is these few molecules which are able to escape from the hydrogen bonding and they have enough energy to break free from the hydrogen bonds and evaporate so when these molecules evaporate they carry away the heat from the uh, uh, lake surface but since the lake is in contact with the surroundings heat energy enters the lake from the surroundings and thus the temperature of the lake is maintained so whatever uh, high energy particles escape other particles which have lesser energy gain the energy from the surroundings and occupy this place so the temperature of the lake remains constant and this distribution of speeds remains constant but at the same time evaporation also happens so even though boiling point of water is 100 degrees celsius evaporation happens at all temperatures because there is always at least some because there are always at least some particles some molecules of water which have energies higher than that which can be controlled or uh, retained by the hydrogen bonding so some molecules can always break free because of their extra energy because they are in the tail end of the boltzmann curve 